New information tonight in the Nina shooting that led to the death of one man and the arrest of another. Tonight, that man has been identified as Michael Funk by his attorney. Police have not confirmed that identification, and we're still on the scene this afternoon as the investigation continues. Early Saturday morning, police were called to Eagle Nation Cycles in Nina on reports that an active gunman was holding people hostage. Those hostages were released unharmed after hours of negotiation. NBC26's Billy Wagnus joins us live at 5 with a question that police and neighbors are left asking tonight. Yeah, Holly, police still have not released the name of the suspect in yesterday's hostage situation, and surrounding businesses were still closed this afternoon. But we are learning more about Eagle Nation cycles and the victim whose death has left neighbors stunned. Police tape still surrounding this city block in Nina today. It was hectic. Everybody was lined up on the street. Is leaving neighbor Frank Hancock asking questions about the harrowing ordeal he and dozens of other onlookers witnessed yesterday. Who it was, why it happened, none of us know. As a SWAT team and numerous Fox Valley police agencies swarmed the area around Eagle Nation cycles yesterday morning, this man, attorney Cole White, who represents Eagle Nation and its two owners. It's not a text that you expect to get on a Saturday morning. Says he was learning of the hostage crisis as it unfolded via text with co-owner Stephen Arado. White says Arado was preparing breakfast at the shop for underprivileged kids when a gunman entered. They regularly do lunch and breakfast uh, for the community. Hours eventually passed before police freed all hostages and arrested the suspect, but not before a man that White identifies as Eagle Nation co-owner Michael Funk would be fatally shot. Police say a man exited the shop with a gun in his hand and was shot after not complying with police orders to drop it. Doesn't jive with the facts that I know. The fact that he was undergoing medical treatment to deal with paralyzing fear of the police. White says a police raid on Eagle Nation cycles in 2012 left Funk, quote, terrified of police. The raid is the center of a pending lawsuit against Nina Police, the city, and Winnebago County. He was to the point of not wanting to spend a lot of time outside of his home for fear of just running into them. It's still unclear who fatally shot Funk. White says he's waiting for area surveillance video to be released by the State Department of Justice. He's also asking for more details on the suspect and the names of which officers fired their weapons. Now, as for any motive the unnamed suspect may have had, Holly police have still not released one. But attorney Cole White says he has been told that the suspect was angry at an individual to whom he had recently sold his motorcycle and went to Eagle Nation Cycles to corner that person. Billy Wagness, NBC26. Thanks, Billy. NBC26 is following the story and will continue to bring updates from police agencies in the coming days as more information is released. Well,